Hi lovelies, welcome back to Christina Maria Yoga. I'm Christina and today we are doing a full body yoga workout. I'm so excited to bring you this 15 minute fast flow that is truly a full body workout. I am actually quite exhausted from just doing it and I really hope you guys will be too. Always nice to have that little burn and make sure to push yourself. You get out of it what you put into it. It's all up to you. Find that edge, but don't go too far. Keep breathing and just do your best. If you need to take a rest, take a rest and come right back into it as soon as you're ready. I really hope you guys like this flow. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Your support means so much. And don't forget to click that big red button to subscribe so you don't miss another flow with me. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. We're going to begin our practice today in a kneeling upright posture. If kneeling is uncomfortable for you or is too painful on the knees, feel free to come into any comfortable seated posture, perhaps cross-legged if that feels good, and allowing the hands to rest on the knees, eyes to close, and spine to be nice and tall here, really lengthen through the upper body, making sure shoulders are relaxed. And then beginning to bring the awareness to the breath in the body, inhaling through the nose, feeling the breath travel down the body, fill the belly, allow the chest to expand, and then exhale through the nostrils. Continuing with this wave of breath through the body as we sit in stillness and ground ourselves for our practice. Take the right fingertips down to the floor as we reach left arm up and over, coming into a side body stretch. Exhale, take left fingertips down to the floor as we reach right arm up and over, side body stretch on the other side. Inhale, coming back to center. We'll rise left arm up, but this time take the right hand to wrap it around the left wrist to help lengthen the stretch of the side body as you pull the left arm over to the right. Coming back through center, switch the grip now so that the left hand grabs the right wrist and we pull the right arm over towards the left. Exhale, release the arms down. Bring the hands to interlace at heart center, elbows pointed out, and keeping arms nice and high at the chest level, begin to rotate towards the right. Come back through center, and then rotate towards the left. Rotating through the trunk of the body here, through the core. Continuing with this twisting motion from one side into center, and back to the other side. And then release the hands down towards the lap. Keep the fingers interlaced. We're going to work with the breath here. Interlace fingers. Inhale, rise straight arms up towards the sky all the way overhead. Then exhale, release the fingers as arms release down by the sides. Inhale, re-interlace as we rise arms up overhead. Exhale, press hands away and down. Inhale, reach up, interlaced fingers. Exhale, break the fingers free, release arms down. Continuing with this flow of breath. Feel the stretch as we breathe. Last one here. And then slowly coming into a tabletop position. We're going to extend the left leg straight out behind us and then begin to gently lift it off the mat. From here, waking up the core, we're going to draw the left knee in towards the left elbow, rounding through the upper back, strong core here. Then we extend the leg back out. Continuing to inhale, draw the knee in towards the elbow, and exhale, shoot the leg back out. And 
and slowly placing left knee back down. And we'll take the right leg out behind us, lifting the right leg up and just continuing the same motion. So drawing right knee in towards right elbow and exhale, extend it out. Continuing to move with the breath here. Allow the back to round as we draw the knee in. Try to keep the foot lifted the whole time. And then slowly relax the right knee back down. From here, taking hands slightly forward of the shoulders, tuck the toes under and press back to our downward facing dog. Feel free to bend the knees here, pedaling the legs out. And then find some stillness in your down dog. Working again with the core and the arm strength here. Inhale, come forward into high plank, shoulders stack over top of wrists. And exhale, press the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward, high plank. Exhale, press back. Keep breathing as we flow. Inhale, forward. Exhale, press back. Keep core drawn in nice and tight. Inhale, forward. Exhale, press back. Inhale forward, exhale back. And then slowly taking the right hand, place it in the middle of the mat. And we're coming onto the edges of the feet so that we the toes face the long edge of the left side of the mat. And inhale, draw the left arm up towards the sky. Look up, side plank. Keep breathing here. Exhale, slowly release back down. Come back to our downward facing dog, returning the right hand to neutral alignment. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So take the left hand to the center of the mat, turn the toes to face the right side as we come onto the edges of the feet, and then slowly begin to draw the right hand up towards the sky. Find the side body plank. Slowly release the hand back down, return the left hand to neutral and find our down dog. Exhale, look forward, step the right foot up in between the hands. Inhale, rise arms up beside the ears, find our high lunge. And we'll begin to flow with this here. Inhale, come forward 45 degrees. And then swing the arms down around the back and up beside the ears. Find the 45 degree bend. Rotate arms down around the back and back up to center. Then fold 45 degrees in the same motion with the arms. Continuing this wave of breath, all while keeping the legs nice and stable. So a strong base here, regardless of the movement of the upper body. So working on our isometric hold of the legs and then slowly releasing the hands back down to the mat and press back to our downward facing dog. Exhale, look forward, stepping left foot up in between the hands. Inhale, rise arms up beside the ears, find that high lunge. And then exhale, find your 45 degree bend, sweep the arms down, around and back up to neutral. And once again, continuing this cycle, 45 degree bend, arms down and around and back up beside the ears, 45 and arms around. Keep breathing. A 
Legs are strong. You can do this. Last one. And then slowly release the hands down. Step back to our downward facing dog. Inhale, rise left leg up towards the sky. And then draw the left knee in towards the left elbow as we come forward to a high plank rounded back. Then we shoot the leg back coming into our three legged downward facing dog. Inhale, draw knee forward, exhale, press back. Continuing with this flow, feel the upper body and core working here. And then release left leg down, rise right leg up, same motion. Draw the knee towards right elbow. And then press the leg back, keep flowing. Make sure we find that down dog each time we press back. and then slowly release the right leg down. Last few breaths here in our strong down dog. Feel the shoulders working. And then release down onto your knees. Bring big toes to touch as we sift the hips back on the heels. Find your child's pose. Right, maybe resting the hands down by the feet for a little extra relaxation and rounding of the spine. Focus on taking big belly breaths, down-regulating the nervous system, slowing down the heart rate, just allowing yourself to relax here, absorbing all the work and energy you've created. Keep breathing. And slowly beginning to pull yourself back up to tabletop and we'll swing the legs around to come into a seated posture. Knees will be bent up, soles of the feet resting on the ground and spine is nice and straight here. We'll take the hands underneath the th back of the thighs. We come up onto the toes as we sit back on the tailbone just slightly and then we lift the knees up finding boat pose. There should be no rounding of the spine here. And then releasing the arms out by the sides, keeping legs lifted, keep breathing. Strong core here, strong thighs. Keep drawing the legs together. So they're going to want to separate. That makes it easier for the lower abdominal muscles. Use the core, bring the legs together, hug them together nice and tight, keep breathing and then slowly release the legs down. Keeping the soles of the feet on the mat, we'll release down into a reclined position, lying on our back, hands resting down by the sides, and we'll lift the knees up 90 degrees. We'll begin with gentle toe taps here. So bringing one toe down to touch the mat, and as it comes back up, the other toes are dropping down to touch. So alternating toe touches, Keeping the neck nice and relaxed, head is resting on the ground. And then beginning to make them a little more difficult, we're going to extend one leg straight out and then draw it back in as the other leg extends out. Try to keep the legs hovering above the mat, so no touching here. One leg in, one leg out, and alternating. Keep breathing. Almost done. And slowly extending both legs straight out onto the mat. 
allowing legs to relax nice and heavy, feet to fall open, arms resting by the sides with the palms facing up, and eyes to close here, shoulders softening, and refine the big belly breaths. Belly rises on the inhale and falls on the exhale. Take as much time as you need here in our final resting pose of Shavasana, allowing your body to take in and absorb all the work you just did. Feel the energy you created running through the body. Just observe the different sensations as you continue to breathe and stay in this moment as long as you can. Namaste. Thanks so much for doing that flow with me, lovelies. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up for me. And don't forget to click that big red button down below to subscribe so you don't miss another flow with me. I post new videos every Sunday, so be sure to come back and check me out. If you guys like this fast-paced flow, leave me a comment down below and I can do more of those videos for you. Or vice versa, if you want me to slow it down, let me know and I can do some of those. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Lots of love.